We all know that high homocysteine level is a relevant biomarker for cardiovascular disease. But do you know that this biomarker is also an early indication for onset of colon cancer, breast cancer and oral cancer. Right? We could measure our homocysteine level by a normal blood test. But this blood test does not tell us what is causing high abnormal homocysteine levels. And this is what I am going to discuss today. So homocysteine is an intermediate byproduct of sulfur metabolism pathway and both gut and oral microbiome have a role to play here. So your oral microbes could metabolize cysteine which is a sulfur containing amino acids into homocysteine and your gut microbiome could synthesize methanine into homocysteine. But this should not be a problem since homocysteine can be recycled back into methanine which needs vitamin B12 as a cofactor and it could be recycled back into cystothenine which needs vitamin B6 as a cofactor. But for this to happen, you know, uh, we need folate because homocysteine takes one carbon group from folate, right? And and uh, since we all know that vitamin B is synthesized by your gut microbiome. So if your gut microbiome is imbalanced, it could lead to deficiency of these B vitamins and could lead to high homocysteine levels. Now, this high homocysteine level actually increases the expression of EDMA a symmetric dimethyl arginine which suppresses nitric oxide production and we know that nitric oxide is the signaling molecule is, is a vasodilator that dilates blood vessels that reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease right so if your gut microbiome is imbalanced if your oral microbiome is imbalanced it is producing too much of homocysteine you know and uh, you are not getting the right set of b vitamins and if you have folate deficiency right Again, this could lead to high homocysteine levels, which could increase the production uh, of ADMA, expression of ADMA, which suppresses nitric oxide production, and again, which could lead to heart disease. And, you know, when we have folate deficiency, folate is a part of one carbon metabolism. It plays a key role in various genes expression and, you know, DNA methylation and synthesis process. And in case of this deficiency, you know, it could... Uh, increase the risk of these cancer right and again high homocysteine level is a biomarker for folate deficiency because when we have this high homocysteine level probably we do not have this folate and high homocysteine is not able to take uh, one carbon group for for that is required for recycling the homocysteine back into you know methanine and cystathionine right so understand this relevant biochemistry of homocysteine and how your microbiome have a role to play in the onset of you know cardiovascular disease and even you know uh, various forms of cancer.